know, Gene, one of the things that's really been a burning in my heart is to see examples of regions transformed. Uh, there, you know, the, the church has been getting a vision for transformation of regions, of cities. Uh, we've seen churches in revival. We yeah. want to see cities transformed. And I know that the Lord spoke to you about that. You guys are uh, seeing some things happen. So what's the Lord been talking to you about on that regard? I'm glad you asked. It happened in 2016. It was January 1st, and I went to our prayer hut. And I'm just praying, and I hear the Lord say, metamorphosis. And I thought to myself, metamorphosis. I know caterpillar to the butterfly. That's yeah. metamorph. But it's transformation. It's a complete change of identity, character, or nature. It's taking on a new form, a new identity. And I asked the Lord, is that just for me? And he said, no, it's not only for you, but it's for the church. It's for the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and he spoke to me about preaching about transformation. That it's not just about getting born again so that you can go to heaven. It's about being transformed into the very image, the very nature of God, the one who created us, to be just like him. You know, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. So the transformation is being transformed back into the image of the Father who created us. And he created us to be love. He created us for love. We're to be love. We're to be his hands and his feet. And so we have one responsibility as the bride of Christ, as the body of Christ. It's to love God and to love people. And if we do that, we will see transformation happen. Yeah. And it happens one person at a time. One person at a time. When we first moved to South Africa, coming from Mozambique, we were there in 2009. And when we would go shopping into Nelspruit, which was about 30 minutes from where we lived in Backdoor, people would ask us, where are you from? We say, oh, we live in Backdoor. They would say, no, you have an American accent. No, we live in back. They didn't believe us. They looked at us like we had three heads. No. White because people, of how bad well, it yeah, was? For, because of how bad, and white no. people don't live there. Pale people do not live there. It was so bad, in 2007, it was considered a no-go zone. The police wouldn't even go there when it started to get dark. Wow. Even to this day, people are still afraid to go there. But I'm telling you, the community is being transformed. Yeah. We're seeing people adding on to their houses. More people are driving cars. Crime is down. And in the area where we're at, not a lot drive cars. And so we're seeing God transform the yeah. area. It's not perfect, but we're seeing transform transformation happen, and it happens one person at a time. And I, th man, Gene, I think that is such an important point that it happens one person at a time. Too often we're looking for the big, yeah. the big breakthrough, and we, we despise the day of small beginnings. That one life at a time. Yeah. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 13 that we are to be the leaven of the kingdom. When he said that, yeast, a leaven, starts out as a single cell organism, yeah. but it creates a yeast culture that raises the entire loaf. And uh, you guys good. going in as a single cell have, have become that, rip, you know, that rising, the kingdom of God comes. So I appreciate you sharing that. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah.